step down, Harry. Sussex cries bitterly as Charles appointed Prince Edward of Councillors of State. Following King Charles' accession to the throne following the passing of Queen Elizabeth, alterations are needed across a number of issues, including the appointment of councillors of state. The councillors of state take the place of the monarch while they are unable to perform official duties temporarily, including due to illness or in their absence abroad. The issue was brought up on Monday in a debate in the House of Lords which asked if it is suitable for Prince Andrew and Prince Harry to continue to hold the position. According to Hansard, Viscount Stansgate asked His Majesty's Government what plans they have, if any, to amend the Regency Act 1937. The Lord Privy Seal noted that the Regency Act 1937 outlines the arrangements of triggering a Regency and the appointment of councillors of state. He added that on occasion, the Regency Act 1937 has been amended so that its provisions effectively support the sovereign in the discharge of their duties and ensure the resilience of our constitutional arrangements. The Viscount said, Does the Minister not think it time to approach the King to discuss the potential amendment of the Act, and in particular Clause 6, which at the moment defines Regents in relation to their line of succession to the Crown? Otherwise, are the government happy to continue with a situation where the councils of state and regency powers may be exercised by the Duke of York or the Duke of Sussex, one of whom has left public life and the other of whom has left the country? Councillors of state include the sovereign's spouse, so in this case the Queen consort Camilla and the following four people in the line of succession who are over the age of 21. While the late Queen was sovereign, Charles, Prince William, Prince Harry, and Prince Andrew were the councillors of state. Now Charles is monarch, it has been suggested that Prince Edward would be suitable to take over the role. Royal commentator and author Angela Levin tweeted, You can't have councillors of the state who are not working royals or live far away. Councillors need to be close and know what's going on to stand in for a royal. It's right that Harry and Andrew step down. Edward could take their place. King Charles has reportedly scrapped plans to slim down the monarch, despite it being one of the key things he wanted to do when he took over. Since before Charles became head of state after the death of Her Majesty the Queen in September, it had been rumoured that he wanted less working royals in order to save money in the eyes of the general public. But now it appears that those plans have been scrapped. According to a Daily Express source, these are things that are all being looked at as part of a wider review at the moment. There are no current plans to change anything on that front. It has been said that the voluntary exile of Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, as well as the loss of Prince Andrew to working royal life, and the deaths of the Queen and her husband Prince Philip, in the last year or so has been one of the main drivers in the King's apparent unwillingness to slim the monarchy down at the moment. As it stands, the list of working royals is the King, Queen Consort Camilla, the Prince and Princess of Wales, Kate Middleton and Prince William, Princess Anne, Prince Edward, and Sophie Wessex.